Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is African Americans, kidney disease, and hypertension. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about kidney disease, hypertension, and related uh, diseases, Dr. Marquetta Faulkner. Uh, Dr. Faulkner is a professor in the Department of Internal Medicine at Meharry Medical College in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, Dr. Faulkner, let me welcome you to uh, the show this day. Thank you very much. And of course, uh, Dr. Faulkner, I think we can only say that uh, you've been with us a number of times, and each time that you've given us so much information and, and, and such quality uh, information. And so what I'd like to do today is to uh, uh, give you an opportunity to allow our audience to see uh, how you uh, became uh, Dr. Marquetta Faulkner at uh, Meharry Medical College by uh, perhaps tracing uh, your background and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to Meharry and uh, having the status that you have in dealing with the uh, disease that you're dealing with. Let's do it from that perspective. Well, um, it first started out uh, when I was younger. I was in the hospital a lot. I had lots of operations. I had some orthopedic problems. And I thought this was a very interesting field to be in. Mm -hmm. And I went to college, Texas Southern University in Houston, mm -hmm. Texas. And after I graduated from Texas Southern, I applied to Meharry Medical College and got in. Mm -hmm. And uh, it started from that point. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my residency at Meharry Medical College in internal medicine. Mm -hmm. And we seem to have a lot of kidney disease patients. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, Hubbard Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, African American Hospital, mm -hmm. will have lots of African American mm -hmm. patients. Mm -hmm. And it looked like every other patient had some type of kidney problem. Mm -hmm. I got very interested in it at that time. Mm -hmm. I did public health in Mississippi and then went to New York, Long Island Jewish, to do kidney diseases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, I came back to Meharry Medical College. Mm -hmm. And I've been there ever since, mm -hmm. since 1989. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you've uh, been involved in uh, a number of programs oh, yes. uh, at Meharry Medical College. As a matter of fact, we've talked about some of these programs. Let's, let's look at some of the things that uh, you've been involved with uh, at Meharry Medical College in terms of uh, kidney disease and related uh, areas? Well, uh, I first started out uh, getting involved with grants dealing with organ donation, mm -hmm. educational aspects around organ donation. Mm -hmm. And of course, I met Dr. Callender during that time. And mm -hmm. for a few years, I did lots of presentations on organ donation, mm -hmm. organ donations, trying to encourage African Americans mm -hmm. to donate. Because mm -hmm. as you know, uh, many, many people on dialysis are African American. About a third of the list of people on dialysis mm -hmm. are African Americans. Mm -hmm. And to get off of dialysis, someone has to give them a kidney. Mm -hmm. So uh, I uh, uh, encouraged organ donation in the African American community as mm -hmm. much as I could. Mm -hmm. Then I started looking at uh, not only working on the back end, uh, encouraging people to donate, mm -hmm. but on the front end. Uh, trying to prevent kidney disease mm -hmm. or trying to decrease the progression of kidney disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you know, I worked with the African American Study of Hypertension and Kidney Disease, mm -hmm. and that's an ongoing study still, 11 years mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been working on both ends. Uh, even now, we're involved in a new study mm -hmm. that's looking at lipids and kidney disease, mm -hmm. the SHARP study, mm -hmm. uh, which has just come uh, mm -hmm. to our campus. Mm -hmm. So I've been working very hard on trying to prevent or decrease the progression of kidney mm -hmm. disease and also working hard on trying to get people off of dialysis, mm -hmm. encouraging organ donation. Mm -hmm. Now you also indicated, I think, uh, Dr. Uh, Faulkner, that uh, there's a dialysis uh, center uh, at Meharry Medical College. And uh, I think prior to this time, it was a difficult problem in terms of uh, uh, having patients to go to different areas and et cetera instead of Meharry. Let's, uh, I want to talk about that uh, as soon as we uh, come back for our second our commercial break here. Let's start talking about that now, that uh, dialysis center at Meharry. Okay, that center at Meharry um, um, was uh, uh, in conjunction with Dialysis Clinic Incorporated mm -hmm. uh, and Meharry Medical College. Uh, Meharry donated the land, DCI built mm -hmm. the unit. Uh, it uh, serves the population in North Nashville. Mm -hmm. It's an open unit. Uh, any patient that lives in that area that wants to go to that unit mm -hmm. uh, may go. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a very nice unit. It has 26 stations. Mm -hmm. It built brand new. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a marvelous staff that mm -hmm. works there. Mm -hmm. Marvelous uh, uh, patients that we have there. Mm -hmm. So it's a great place to be. Mm -hmm. And of course it's located, as you indicated, right in the center where uh, there's a real problem in terms of some of the uh, of kidney disease. Is, is that uh, correct? Yes, you know, kidney disease is very prevalent in the African-American mm -hmm. community. 
Of course, all over the world, about five million people have mm -hmm. kidney disease. Mm -hmm. But the great number of percentages of people that mm -hmm. are on, that have kidney failure is African American. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a third of the patients on dialysis. There are about 260,000 patients on dialysis, mm -hmm. and a third of those are African American. Mm -hmm. And we're only 12% of the United mm -hmm. States population. So it's, it's, a re it's a real problem and a real question dealing with uh, this as a, a, a disease, kidney oh, disease. Yes. Okay, yes. well, what we'll do uh, after we uh, come back for our second, from our first commercial break, we'll give you an opportunity to talk about that as a disease and the impact that it's having upon African Americans. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. We're talking to Dr. Marquetta Falk.